Hello, and welcome to another Bees and Teas Extra. I'm your host, Sebastian. Uh, as you can see, I'm recording a few videos here kind of at the same time, so don't mind the shirt. Um, but this is going to be my day two of the Bees and Teas Extra uh, cheese and tea tastings, the advent calendars. I'm going to let the tea steep a little bit longer, um, so I will go ahead and do the tea first. Put it over to the side here. All right, so, oh, this is, I'm sorry. The Ilster Cheese Advent Calendar that I got from Lidl, which is a German store that is, um, um, you can find it in America. So, day two is, it's another, another white cheese. It is Applewood Smooth and Creamy, boy, that's hard to read. Applewood Smoked Flavored Cheddar Cheese, it looks like. I believe, that's what that is. Is that Applewood? Anyway, I think that's what it is. Let me see. Hold on one second. Sorry for the light here real quick. Applewood smooth and creamy. Yeah, smoke flavored cheddar cheese. There we go. So, all right. So, we're starting out with another cheddar here. Doggone it. Now I can turn the light off. Ha, there we go. Okay. So, this is the Applewood smoked cheddar. And once again, you got a little, little peel back like a... Like a string cheese. Mm, yeah, you can definitely smell the smoky flavor. Let's see. Mmm. Okay. So, for me, I'm going to swallow this. I'm not usually a big fan of smoked flavor. But this is a bit more subtle. It's not, well, you kind of get it, you kind of get the cheesy taste at the end. Uh, the smoky taste, I should say. Um, but... On the front, it's not so much. It's really not bad. Um, like I said, I'm not the biggest of fan of um, of smoked flavors, so I'm probably not going to be the best person to to say that I enjoy this. Um, but it's not bad. Okay. Yeah, these jokes are dumb. I'm not going to. I don't think I'm going to be telling the jokes on the back unless they're really good. So, yeah, this isn't bad. Um, if you like a smoky cheese, this is nice. Like I said, it's not, excuse me, it's not overwhelming. Um, but you definitely get that smoky sort of flavor. So, yeah, this is this is better than I thought it was going to be. Um, I, I, there's other smoked cheeses in here. So, we'll just have to see how those go. Um, all right. The other one is going to be... This was a wonderful, um, I guess you could call it Stitchy Kindness gift. Um, it is T2, which is an Australian tea. It's called Sip the Future. Um, so, um, um, Karen and, and Brendan from uh, Fox and Rabbit were just, it was super awesome to see this uh, come in. So, number two, remember I have to room before, so I've already seen it. It is, uh, the number two box is... Be a volunteer. And this is T2 Lemongrass and Ginger. So they're doing another um, another herbal tea to smart start. To smart. Let's see. With a hint of zest and a whole lot of spicy bright lemongrass, this brew smacks you sideways with a refreshing sensation that's as vibrant as it is engaging. Pucker up. Ingredients lemon, lemongrass and ginger. Okay. So it really is literally just lemongrass and ginger. Um, I love lemongrass like in foods, and obviously I love ginger in foods. Um, I've never been a gigantic fan of them, like in teas, I guess. Well, it is the tea is definitely greenish, which is kind of interesting. Uh, so let's give it a try. Let's see. Okay, Meh, the t the um, smells a little bit more subtle. Hopefully, it's not too hot. Okay. You know what? It's okay. It's all right. Mm. I mean, to me at least, the ginger seems to be kind of overpowering the lemongrass. Um, ginger kind of tends to do that anyway. Mm. I don't know. You get ginger at first, and then you kind of get lemongrass second, at least for me. 
that's kind of how the taste sort of seems to come through. Um, so that's nice, actually. That's better, honestly, better than I thought it was going to be. So, um, all right. That's, that actually is all right, you know. Uh, I don't know, maybe this tea, too, will start turning me on to more, um, more herbal teas. I'm usually more of a black tea kind of guy myself, but, you know, I'm, I'm all for it, so. Um, all right, so I guess that's about it. Um, I will talk to you guys tomorrow with the next tea and cheese. Bye.